Now this is a basically easy problem. Let me read. This is a heavy particle hanging from a fixed point by a light inextensible string of length L is projected horizontally with a speed under root ZL. So I have a particle that is basically attached to a string and the length of the string is L. Mass of this object is capital a small m. And this is given a speed u and u is given by under root gl. Question says find the speed of the particle and inclination to the string, inclination of the string with vertical at the instant when the tension of the string is equal to weight of the particle. So question says when tension in the string is equal to mg at that point of time you have to find theta what is the theta and theta is measured from the vertical and you have to also find at that point of time what is the speed so you have to find v of the ball so if you remember if you have some idea in vertical circle you know if a speed is at less than under root 2 gl if a speed is u is less than under root 2 gl this object will not reach to the horizontal position. If the speed is less than under root 2 gl, this object will not reach to the horizontal position. It, if a speed is u is equal to under root 2 gl, this will reach to the horizontal position. If u is equal to under root 2 gl, this block will reach up to this horizontal position. If this is less than under root 2 gl, it is not going to reach this horizontal position. It will be somewhere here. Now we have to find theta. Now this problem is easy problem. I think all of you can do this one. So those who think and do, let us do. And those who think cannot do, let us listen the solution. So I will apply two equations. One is radial direction equation. So in radial direction you have tension. And this will be mg. So I will have a component. So this angle is theta. So this side will have mg cos theta so I can write equation first equation t minus mg cos theta is equals to mv square by L this is my equation number one and I will get the second equation from tangential direction equation but I am not going to write tangential direction equation I will write energy conservation so this is a radial direction equation I can write second equation from energy conservation. So if I apply energy conservation, initial speed is half m u square and u is under root zl. Half m u square. Let us take this as a zero. So what we will do is this. I will apply loss in kinetic energy loss in kinetic energy is equals to gain in potential energy. So this is the initial kinetic energy minus half mv square that is the final kinetic energy. Now loss in kinetic energy this but is the gain in potential energy. So let me see here this distance is L. So this distance will be L cos theta. So this distance will be basically L minus L cos theta. I think all of you are able to understand. This distance is L. So this distance will be L cos theta. This total distance is L. So this distance will be L minus L cos theta. So gain potential energy is mg L 1 minus cos theta. Are you get? <coughs> so <coughs> this is my equation number 2. Now I have two equations I have to solve for tension theta and V and it is given when tension becomes equal to weight so T is mg so from one I can write I think all of you have copied this one so from one what I can write T minus mg cos theta 
is equals to m b a square by l. Let us put t is equals to m z. So m z into one minus cos theta. This is equals to m b a square by l. So this is my equation one. Now I can I have to find v as well as theta both. Now I can use v a square from here. So I can write expression for v a square. So let us say if I modify equation number two. So this is m z one minus cos theta is equals to if I write m b a square. So this m b a square will be. So you can write yourself. Now let me do for here. I am doing one calculation here. You can copy this one. So if I write equation two in a slightly better way, so I will have half m g l. Are you getting? I am modifying the equation two. Half g l is equal to g l minus half m b a square. This is equal to m g l one minus cos theta. Are you getting? Now I can write from here m b a square is. So let us say multiply by two. And then you will have m g l minus 2 m g l 1 minus cos theta is equals to m b a square. Are you getting or not? So the second equation can be written in this form. If you have written, then I can plug the value of m b a square in the previous equation. So if I plug the value of m b a square in the previous equation, so m b a square is, you see your copy, you have written the same thing, m z l minus 2 m z l 1 minus cos theta divided by l. L goes out throughout. M z also goes out. So I will have 1 minus cos theta. This is equals to L goes out one minus two one minus cos theta. So we will have two and three. So we will have three one minus cos theta. So three into so three minus three cos theta is equals to one. You can solve yourself. So basically from here, cos so three cos theta is two, or cos theta is two by three. Are you getting? You can solve for velocity also, because you know velocity is as a function of theta. So if you plug the value of cos theta, you can get the velocity. You see this equation that is the m g l minus 2 m g l is equal to m b square. In this equation, if I plot cos theta is 2 by 3, so I can find expression for velocity also. So m g l minus 2 mgl and 1 minus cos theta, so 1 minus 2 by 3, that is simply 1 by 3, is equals to m b a square. So m goes out throughout. So I will have 2 by 3, so g l by 3 is equals to b a square. So from here you can write b is basically equals to under root g l by 3. Are you getting? So this is the value of velocity we'll have at the point of time when tension is equals to m g. So this is a pretty easy problem. You have to simply write equation of motion in the radial direction, and you have to do one equation for energy conservation. If tension is given to you, so tension is m g. You can solve for theta as well as you can solve for b. In this question, one important point is initial velocity is less than under root two g l. So this means the ball will even not reach to the horizontal position. So it will go in middle and it will come back. If the speed is greater than under root two g l, in that case it can go up to the horizontal position. And if greater than two g l, it can go even up to higher than the horizontal position. Is equals to two g l under root two g l, it will reach to the horizontal position just even if. Is greater than under two g l. In that case, it can go over the horizontal position. Of course, if this is less than five under root five g l, the tensor will be 
zero between the horizontal position and the vertical position in that case it will follow a parabolic path these things we have discussed okay let us go for the next problem so this is a pretty easy problem